Hello, this is Ivan from watchandlearn.com and in this video I will be talking about custom post types. This is the second part of my previous video about custom post types in which we made a custom post type called books and we made some custom fields called author, year of publishing and description. Unfortunately, I haven't been able uh, to make new videos for last eight months. I was pretty busy and actually I didn't even check my YouTube channel <coughs> for the last seven months but when I checked uh, last month I saw that the previous video got about 4000 views which is pretty good for this type of video so I decided to make more of these videos because uh, you guys like them and I will be making more videos more often and I hope you will like those videos so in this video I will be talking about custom post types and custom post type archives single pages and links to those single pages. First we will be making a link but let's just remind ourselves uh, what we've done the last time. So if you haven't watched the last video please go check it out. Uh, I will just give you a short description of what we have done. So we have made a books custom post type and in that custom post type we made some fields. We made a field called author uh, year of publishing and the field description. That's the descri description for the book. Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how, you how how will you link these custom post types that we displayed on our front page in our index.php file. How you will link them to single post, single custom post type page. Okay, first of all, we're going to remove this description because in real life situations when ma making something like this, you won't have all of this information. You will maybe have a title, author, year of publishing and when someone click clicks on the read more link or on the title, it will take him to the page where you will have description and man maybe some more, some more information about that book. Okay, so the first we thing we're going to do is uh, we are going to remove the description and it's in this div called the description and we will just delete that. Okay, okay so we just have title, author, year of publishing. Next we want to make a link to our single post type page. Uh, we will make the link on the title and we will make the link on the read more text which we will write now. Okay. <coughs> so we have read more text here. If we refresh it, it will just say read more and nothing will happen because we didn't uh, add an URL to our href tag. So, first uh, to make the link to the custom post uh, is very simple. Actually, if you know anything about making uh, WordPress themes, uh, it's the same thing as making a link to a post or to a page. So, we use the, the default code. We'll just write php the permalink and that's it. Close out PHP tag and that's it. Now when we click on read more we will get this page. This page doesn't show anything because uh, it uses a single PHP default page or something like that so it doesn't show us our information but we will correct that. First of all uh, I want to make a link on this title tag so same, same thing as before. I, I will actually just copy this and paste it here. Okay. And now we have links from our titles and uh, links from our read more text. Okay. Now to make a single page for our books is actually pretty simple too. So to make a, a single template 
for posts uh, you will you would use single.php file now if you look at my single.php file it's a little bit different because this PHP file uh, I use actually this PHP file only to tell w WordPress uh, where I want my links to go what templates to use so uh, you can see by this code here if video tutorials so if someone clicks on a video tutorial it will take them to single free video dot php then i have else if text tutorials if someone clicks on a text tutorial it will take them to single text dot php and for blog i have just an else statement since since i don't have a blog on this side oh i have a blog okay so we will leave that as it is and we will make another conditional close out this actually since we're not using video tutorials and uh, for these examples and text tutorials I will just make it like this this will be more simply simpler so if someone clicks on a book it will take them to single book and if someone clicks on anything else which is a post it will take them to single blog so I'm happy with that so if video tutorials now we have to change this to our slug and our slug just to remind ourselves types and taxonomies for books is books so if books equals get post type so if a post type is a book go to this template single book dot php now of course if we save this refresh it we will get something like this because we don't have a single single book book dot php so let's make one I will actually just use single free video remove all of this okay so I get my sidebar but you can make this template whatever you like uh, okay and to display the content of this post so the usual default content to display it you will have to make something like this so this is the default WordPress loop you have to make just the default WordPress loop nothing special here if you have posts while well, have posts and so on now if I save this and if I go here uh -huh, just a second maybe I need to refresh it I'm sorry I didn't actually save this single free video so save as single book okay now I have it here single book okay it should work now okay now I get an empty page that's because uh, we did the WordPress loop but we didn't put anything in it so I will first of all put the title in it okay okay so we see the title is Ilium okay now now we're going to add some content to that and it will be the same content as our, on our index page so I will just copy this to get our author and year of publishing and we will make the description here so this three description 
okay we call the <coughs> field attribute fi uh, actually field function and render this field so I will description and we say raw false if you don't know what any of these means please check out the previous video I explained all of that there okay so if we refresh it now we will get the description uh, also there's some problem uh, problems with uh, this should probably be in the left div you don't have to do this this is just my theme for your theme it may be something else okay looks good now so if we go to our front page and click on new book we can see new book and its description okay so that's for the single pages we made links we made a single page uh, now what we want to do is make an archive so how do you make archives or lists of your uh, of your uh, custom post types so in the real world scenario you probably wouldn't have all of this on the front page especially if you are selling books you would maybe have a slider here uh, with all the new books and uh, some text about your company and so on so you wouldn't have this list here we are just doing this as an example so what we want to do we want to uh, add in this uh, main menu uh, main navigation menu actually we want to add books so when someone clicks on that uh, he will get or she will get the list of all of or all our books so how do you do that so this is actually pretty simple if we go here we check our slug again it's books okay so we want to make an archive or a list of books so I'm going to make a new file and I will call it you have to call it like this so let's save as archive dash books so this is our slug dot php and that's it so we made an archive we can copy this from the our index page copy it here uh, and we will just add here let's say h1 tag and say list of books so we can differentiate it from our front page also when you make an archive you don't have to use these arguments so this is just for the front page to tell the WordPress what you want to display on your front page but when you uh, are creating an archive you use default WordPress loop so I will just do this take all of this and put it in our loop okay delete this and while and that should actually be it so when we uh, go to our site and write books in our URL we should get a list of books so it's calling this template now archive-books.php so if we want to make an uh, <coughs> if we want to make menu item for those books we can just go to our appearance menus as you can see I have it's called Glavni Isborn in Croatian which means main menu in uh, English so you don't have the, uh, the link to the archive right here so if you go to books you will just see Ilium and my new book you don't have a link to the archive so you must make a custom link for that so you will just do this URL and copy this and call the menu item books ok 
OK, add to menu. I will put it on the first place, save menu, and that's it. Now, when we go, when we go to our front page, we have books here. And when I click books, it should take me to the list of books. So that's it. So we made the link to our single page, we made a single page and we made an archive or list of our books or list of our custom post types. I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, e either on, uh, on YouTube or on my site. I will be posting this code on my site, so be sure to check that out uh, if you like. Also, you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, and I think that's about it. Uh, also, you can let me know in the comments what would you, what would you like to see next from this type of videos. So I will be doing at least one more mi video about custom post types, but uh, you can ask me anything about SAS, Compass, uh, front-end development, CSS, HTML and so on. As long as, as it's not too easy or too, uh, too novice based uh, questions. So no s uh, very easy questions. Okay. So that's it for this video. Have a great day.